Nikos. Hello, Kawhi. It is your sensei back with another Midnight Suns video. For Charlie, make sure you pet that like button, rub that subscribe button, and comment below. Happy Midnight Suns Day. As usual, we're posting another Midnight Suns video. This time, we go in great detail about the first Avenger himself, Mr. Stars and Stripes, Captain America. In this video, will be a breakdown of the skills Captain America has, narrated by the GOAT himself, Christopher Odd. Then, we'll have a discussion at the end of the video on my thoughts about Steve Rogers' playstyle and possible team combinations. From Brooklyn, New York, specializing in agility, strength, speed, endurance, and reaction time, and carrying a shield made of Wakandan vibranium, the first superhero to showcase is none other than Steven Rogers, a.k.a. Captain America. Hey, I'm Steve. As you might imagine, Captain America's playstyle revolves almost entirely around the use of his shield. And what does shields do best? They block. But that's not to say that Captain America is a purely defensive hero. Quite the opposite, in fact. He's capable of dealing immense amounts of damage by generating block and unleashing that on his enemies. More on this later. One of his abilities, called the best defense, sees the captain gaining block equal to his damage dealt for two turns. Add in one of his taunt abilities, and you've got a tanky, aggro-drawing, serum-induced super soldier who bravely keeps his friends safe by quite literally blocking bullets for them. Throughout the game, you'll have opportunities to develop friendships with fellow superheroes. Attaining higher levels of friendship will have huge implications on the battlefield. Known, of course, for undying loyalty and incredible leadership, it should be no surprise that Captain America would gain passives reflecting these qualities as he becomes closer to our own superhero, the Hunter. What destiny is that? Keep playing it straight with me, Hunter, and... Maybe I'll trust you enough one day to tell When you. reaching friendship level 1, Mr. Rogers will start each combat with some block already in place. And at level 2, not only does he start each fight with block, but he'll continue to gain block after every turn. He's definitely worthy of developing a solid friendship with, especially if you're a glass cannon who needs the protection of someone who always puts his friends first. Now, have you ever wondered what would happen if you were hit directly in the chest by a 12-pound concave disc two and a half feet in diameter? No? Weird. Well, guess what? It's going to move you. Using the Brooklyn handshake attack, Captain America will be sending enemies flying with knockback. In addition, if the target was already damaged this turn, that knockback turns forceful, and the distance at which enemies can be flung becomes considerably farther, allowing for more potent combat combos. Throughout the course of the game, the Brooklyn Handshake can be upgraded to allow for more card draw, and the ability to apply Marked, making it extremely powerful as you face stronger enemies. Until now, we've only covered basic attacks and skills. Let's talk some heroics here. Heroics are the most devastating cards in your arsenal, and most of the combat planning should revolve around building heroism to play these. Named after the sound effects his shield makes on impact, Spang does heaps of damage to enemies that are targeting Captain America directly. If you invest in upgrading Spang, you'll be able to encourage card drawing and a reduced heroism cost. Now, hearkening back to my earlier tease, Captain America can eventually gain access to a special Midnight Suns card titled Shield Charge. In addition to being his most expensive heroic ability, it's also his most satisfying. Remember all that block that you've been building up during combat? Time to put that to devastating use. After all, Steve Rogers can only be just a kid from Brooklyn for so long. When Shield Charge is cast, Captain America will consume all of his current block to deal that amount in damage to every enemy in a line. On upgrade, Shield Charge will also grant you a card draw for each enemy hit, and can even add a chance for those targets to become marked, making them ideal targets to follow up on. America cards consist of plenty of taunt and guard, making him the perfect vanguard for anybody planning on focusing their hunter on combat. With his friendship being focused on building his passive block, he is ideal for healers in the party as well. I can see Captain America next to Wolverine and Blade characters who stack bleed, with him marking enemies, making them take more damage, and bleeding out the targets as easy pickets. If you want to deal damage with the more magical characters, Captain America can be their shield literally. With him taunting enemies and gaining block, characters like Magic, Strange, and I'm assuming Wanda, who can easily deal AoE on the enemies, looking in Captain's way. 
It's hard not to see a team that could benefit from Cap, considering defense is the best offense, and his Midnight Suns cards play into that as well with him dealing extreme damage parallel to his defense. They did a great job of capturing the essence of Cap, and I'm always, I mean as always, I'm more excited about this game than ever. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know how you feel about Cap in the comment section below. I hope you're having a good day, and see you soon.